Hello everyone, what is going on? Doing another exploration kind of hike thing today. I decided to come to this place called the Pea Ridge National Military Park. I decided to do a self-guided tour and I figured I would get you guys to tag along. I kind of already missed the first couple of stops, but really it was just like, oh hey, something used to be there and then it's just not there. So right now we're currently walking to a place called Lee Town. I've did some or I've done some looking at that and I thought that it was for, you know, Mr. Lee, but I guess not. So it, it's named after someone else. But either way, let's go exploring. So there's another hiking trail that actually looks like it's blocked off. I wonder if I'm gonna get ticks out here. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm curious about at this point. Am I supposed to walk through here? I don't know. Dude, check that out though. They were craftsmen. They really knew how to make a wall. Trump is probably shaking in his boots right now because he can't make a wall like that. Well, cool. That's awesome. I probably could have walked some more in there, but uh, I didn't really want to go too far because I have no idea if this is where I'm supposed to be or not. I don't know, I, I, I understand like not everybody is really into history. I mean, I'm not really like the biggest history fanatic. I hadn't really been that much into history even in school, but it is kind of cool though to explore different things that you've never seen before and just know that like this was a place that people lived at. For a little while now now it's just green apparently there's houses and stuff like that that used to be in there there was a church there was a store there was all sorts of stuff now it's just that it's grass supposedly through the tour thing i guess the archaeological society comes in and they've been kind of finding some foundations and stuff like that for the houses too so that's part of the reason why they're like oh hey there's houses here that's pretty cool you know you know before i go i know that the sign is right there and we just came from there but i kind of want to see what's down here just real quick dude the trees are like so close together there's not even any echo or anything out here either so i'm sitting here trying to talk low so that way people don't know that i'm vlogging but it is just it, it's peaceful it's serene it's uh what do you call it it's just quiet oh we're on the right trail boys I'm starting to see less dirt on this trail. And there's a downed tree over there. Uh. That's interesting. All right. We're going to turn back. All right. We are now at the Lee Town Battlefield. It's cool. <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of cannons and stuff like that over there that I'm hoping that the camera picks up. But yeah, I'm not over there right now. Th this is now the battlefield, I guess, for the same little town that I was just looking in. And yeah, um, I also got a handy dandy dude to help explain this better. Tour stop number four, the Lee Town Battlefield. Before I go into great detail here, I'm going to have to give you a little more background information. The Battle of Pea Ridge was a two day battle uh, that occurred on this side, the west side of the Mississippi River. This theater of war is commonly known as the Trans Mississippi Theater of War. It was between two armies, a Confederate army known as the Army of the South, commanded by Confederate General Earl Van Dorn, with sub commanders General Ben McCullough and General Sterling Price. Oh, what is this? Horse crossing? more horses oh it's it's a service road but i mean th th there's horses out here i want to see horses i want to ride a horse I, I have ridden horses but i i hadn't ridden one in a while now that's not very authentic to the civil war all this is modern there, there's even a truck behind me that's doing all this crap and digging through. Yeah, they didn't have Kubotas back then. Yay, another stop, Pea Ridge West. I, I don't know what, I don't know what Pea Ridge West is, but. Let's see what our handy dandy Ranger Kelly has to say. Oh, okay, here we go. I had to let off the brake. 
And so I was afraid I was gonna roll forward too much. Ask a scientist, science in the park. Notice whenever they drive around the park, there's a lot of areas that we have been going through and removing some of the trees. His his sound was not good. That like I know this GoPro mic is probably not the greatest either, but I mean his sound was just bad. shots for the video and then these people pulled up i'm like i can't record in private damn it all right we made it to stop seven now this is supposedly called the east overlook and it was specifically saying that it's 464 feet that way it's a nice little blacktop trail at least you know don't have to walk on rocks and shit that's always good i think there's people over here so i'm a little nervous So the people that were down here, I guess they're from upstate New York or something. They're, they were talking about the Saratoga battlefield. They, they thought that going around there, seeing the scenery and all these stops and whatnot, kind of like what they do here, was pretty cool. I think that that's awesome too. It was crazy because it's like, oh, hey, you guys actually like the same stuff I like. Yay. But yeah, they were cool. It, it was a little nerve wracking at first because I'm like, uh, I'm going to put the camera down or try to, but no, they were very nice people. They were riding their bike somewhere and I'm gonna go back to the car. Cause I don't have a bike. I made it out of there just in time. More people started showing up. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna explain the camera. I know at least one person is probably going to point it out at some point and no, I'm not gonna explain that. So I'm getting the hell out of here. Next stop. I think it's culturally fine for me to videotape out here so I don't feel as weird, but it's still kind of weird. Jesus. I guess this is another roadway out or something. There's a cannon or two cannons. He was ready to go from all angles. Let's see, how do we get into this bitch? Oh, you can't. Interesting. There's a Germex thing with the. <laughs> Can this door open? Nope. Okay. I won't mess with it then. What in the world? All right, <laughs> they probably have cameras out here. Like, what is this dude doing? Looks like something happened to that. Oh, and there's a storm cellar. Well, in case of a tornado, right? This is the back door. Huh. Cool. I have no idea if I'm supposed to be here or not. <laughs> I want to know where that goes though. Oh, and there's a sign over there. We'll take a look at that too. We had cannons ready to go. There's a bunch of signs out here. Dude, look at that goddamn thing. What does this look like on the inside? Can you see? No? Oh, oh well. I mean, are. Okay, so that's a trail. And I'm assuming 
I, I feel like that that was just a trail that they used to get out. What is this? Elkhorn Tavern taken. Oh, is this supposed to be Telegraph Road? That is crazy. That means there was a building next to it. There was a building right outside of it over here. Oh, God damn. Late afternoon on March 7th. So I guess that used to be the old mail route that would go through. Let's see, what's this? Oh, yep, here's the sign for it. The Butterfield Overland Mail Route. That's what it was. The Elkhorn Tavern. And then this roadway, which would go right down here. That was the old mail route. Now I just kind of want to see what's down here real quick before I go back to the car. I also need to plug this in anyway. If we're gonna continue the tour. God damn, dude. It goes forever. Man, that was a hell of a hill to get up. Hope they didn't bottom out or something <laughs> going up this hill. I would be excited to be here if there was a tornado. 67 mile an hour horizontal and 100 mile an hour vertical winds, 250 mile an hour safe room. Jesus. Well, my tour guide doesn't want to talk to me, but this is stop nine. It says Confederate sunset on the sign, and then there's some. That there's some cannons and shit. I guess it was like a really big moment in the battle. And people were just going after each other. I have no idea. Oh, thank God I'm done in there. Huh? <laughs> I was just getting like, dude, come on. I, I'm trying to get this d tour done. But yeah, no, it was great. Uh, then I found this and it's like the trail system I guess that they have in here but yeah I just wanted to get out of there because I was just like oh my god I'm still doing this Jesus Christ in the last two stops it was like nothing it was just it was more grass and then like you could sit there and reflect and be inspired and think about the men that died there and this that and the other and yeah so we will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye